We're now in the former red gum grove. Um, as you can see, all the eucalyptus in this grove uh, have already been removed. Um, they've been removed over the past few years, and the fire crew has now come through and burned all the debris piles. Um, there's still a few piles that are burning off in the distance, but this grove is where all of my study sites are. Um, right here in front of me is one of my study sites. Um, this is burn site number one. Um, all my burn sites lie on a north-south axis, so right now we are looking north. And based on that, we have the west side and then the east side. And so for each plot, we seeded one side. So in this particular plot, we seeded the west side. And so that way we can kind of compare how native vegetation grows back when uh, we've seeded and then based on just natural revegetation after a fire. Um, so this site has been burned a few times, that's why it's uh, so scorched um, a couple really hot burns. So there really hasn't been much vegetation growth um, in this particular site. Um, I have three burn, site, burn sites. The, this one is the most uh, charred. And then for each burn site, we have a paired unburned site. So if we go over here, uh, its paired plot is over in the brush. And so the same way that I explained over at the burned plot, this unburned plot we have the same setup, so same circular plot that are seven meters in diameter. Um, they lie on a north-south axis, and then you know the west side is seeded and the east side is unseeded. Um, we set up these string markers going out from the center point uh, to the outer boundary of the circle. And this string, by sectioning off each side, it just allows us to better get a uh, better representation of what's in here. And so we have a smaller work area and that um, allows us to be more thorough in our surveys. So we make sure we get everything.